in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed we are going to do this very fast and I want you to please participate. I'm about to pray for the sick. Do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go. Mm -mm. It was Archb Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said if your faith says yes, God will not say no. I'm about to pray for the sick and please hear me I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle believe that you will be healed and then if you are standing in for someone whether for those following online or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones I'm going to pray and the power of God will rest upon you the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I'm going to give you an opportunity, whether you are in the overflow at the other side of the road or this one by my right, or you know, up the balcony or here, will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right. We'll take a few testimonies and then I will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up. Lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Father, you mandated us to go and heal the sick. You mandated us to cast out devils, to raise the dead, as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, everyone here who is sick, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity, the spirit that is back of that condition, in the name of Jesus, you give way now. Shout a loud amen. amen. Now I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed of blood conditions now. Someone is, I, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's a messy scene I'm seeing in my vision. Someone will start vomiting, like throwing out something, and that will be the end of it. I'm seeing an infirmity. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now. Every bone condition, bone condition affecting your walking, in Jesus' name, let life surge to your limbs now. Everything affecting your walk, whether a spinal cord issue, we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There are a number of ladies I'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps. Please believe that God heals. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now, let that demonic growth leave your body now. There's someone, it's like you have a problem with your toe. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. 
you have a problem with your toe i don't know what that problem is but in the name of jesus i command that that demonic pain to live now there was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of jesus it will shrink back now we cost that devil in the mighty name of jesus christ you started having this problem when you wake up in the morning your neck it's as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain i declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of Jesus, I bring you liberty now. Yeah. HIV be healed. Yeah. Cancer, it doesn't matter what stage, be healed now. Yeah. There is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile. In the name of Jesus Christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain in jesus name the lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having it's like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of jesus christ i command healing for you now now please hear me whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of jesus christ i don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look. Now, I want you to begin to check yourself. Look at this the collarbone here. The power of God is touching someone right now. That collarbone. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision God is showing me. You have a child that is suffering from autism. Autism. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching that child right now. Autism. Autism. Be healed now. Your, your son, your sister's son, in the name of Jesus, wherever the boy is, we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we are doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow I'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of God is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming I want you to pray 
that in the name of Jesus, every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny, I declare that you are open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. Every door, doors are systems of access. They midwife rooms, they midwife dimensions. Every gate and every door, are you praying? Connected to the next level and the next season of my life. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. Be open for me right now. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. My God, are you seeing miracles? People are coming. People are coming. Pray. God is opening doors. testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point I'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now I told you that the help of God comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the Holy Spirit I like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of September by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny I declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please be seated for a few minutes be sensitive now yes please very quickly very quickly your testimony let's do that very fast Hallelujah. I have been having this please, can we have a bit of volume on this mic I've been having this waist pain this you've been having waist pain yes for how long for four years four now. years four years now. what happened to you now Bend. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Waste pain gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. I came here with um, difficulty in breathing. And I difficulty in breathing. breathing. So I just fell under anointing and I just got up. And you I fell under the anointing. Five. And right now, five. breathing and out. Completely gone. Can you imagine? Listen. Did you know? Listen, listen listen look how many people God is touching do you know that sometimes look at a lady she comes having this problem and what happens is she falls under the anointing and that's the end of it this is how someone will go to bed and this spirit will oppress them and they never wake up never wake up place your hand on your chest in the name of Jesus I decree and declare it remains permanent permanent in Jesus' name, go and walk in the liberty of Jesus. Yes, Lord, please. Sir, this woman happens to have had healing from two of the cases that you mentioned. Two of the cases. Yes, the one on the foot. You remember talking about somebody that had, um, you know, a pain on the okay, foot. Okay, the foot. Toe. Let her talk. And then the. Okay. I woke up last month with 
that I can I was not unable to turn my eye. right now what happened to you I, I turn it go ahead let the devil see you turn it you couldn't do this for how long for one month now I just woke up and I could not in the name of Jesus Christ your healing remains permanent God bless you yes please very quickly praise the Lord since two years now I've been having a serious chest pain so immediately I was pain I felt something a burning sensation then I didn't feel the pain again and it just left it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus yes please praise the Lord two days ago I um, woke up with a uh, neck pain and you know I just thought it was a joke but that night when I went to bed, um, I woke up to ease myself around 12 in the night and realized that I couldn't get up. So I felt trapped. You couldn't get body. up? Wow. I couldn't get up. The, the pain um, went from my neck all the way down yes. to my back. And I felt like I was trapped in my body and all that. And right and now? Right now it's gone. I couldn't Completely. Turn. Completely. Completely. No, pain. Well. no pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. It I... Lift it now. I'm able to lift it. Lift it. Yes. Lift it again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Um, for, for, for some months now, I've had um, problems with my knee. Your knee? Yes, my okay. both knees. Um, I could not flex my knees for a sustained, for a sustained period of time. Okay. For well, now it's possible and then i walked in here with the back pain but well, even before we prayed the back pain left completely in jesus name this knee condition we curse it it will never return to you again yes please go ahead hallelujah i've been having pains on my shoulder for months now and when the man of god was praying the pains disappeared completely gone yes sir in jesus name it's gone forever yes please praise the lord for some months now, I could not be able to shift my chest like this. It seems as if there is block inside my chest. But right now, I check can't. yourself. And do like it's this. completely gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, so while you were praying for pastors, my dad is actually a pastor. For the past four years, my dad has been diagnosed with Parkinson and partial stroke. So while you were praying, I just called and then I put the phone on the speaker and then he was responding, Amen. All of a sudden, his voice ceased and then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. He said he said a feeling vibration. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. I didn't even hear what she said. Honestly, the Lord was showing me something else. What did you say? My, when you were praying for the pastors, my dad had been diagnosed of Parkinson's since of, um, last four years. Yes, sir. And then with partial stroke, he has not been able to preach all the way. And he's a pastor. And he's a pastor. Right now, what happened? <laughs> Why you were praying? I called and I put the phone on speaker. <laughs> and all of a sudden, his voice ceased. And then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. And then she said he's a dead shivering. And then he, he started moving his body. He started moving his body. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you, listen. As soon as as soon as she started talking the lord opened my eyes and i was seeing something else that was why i was not i just saw a word congratulations listen and as soon as i saw that word congratulations i had this song hey bezina help me chuku non-stop the truth see you see back 
spiritual things don't make sense but blessed is she that believes you can believe this and receive it and you will be surprised some of you right here in church even before you come out someone will just call you and say congratulations hallelujah yes please go ahead no 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 don't hold the mic straight to the point we may not I, be okay i had an accident you had an accident five years ago and uh, how long I five have years two and what happened i have two pains and it refused to go but as uh, you were minister i prayed and i can't feel the pain anymore in the name of jesus it leaves you right now by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah hold on stand up man. where is the child is she okay how long has she been a widow uh, have you been a widow my husband died past two months july but he was buried last month 31st of August. So what happened that you couldn't pay the child's school fees? I hope he died without leaving anything for us. What of you, madam? Don't be embarrassed. I didn't call you to embarrass. Died last two years. Two years. And you could not afford your child's school fees? Been difficult, sir. Why? I'm not really doing anything and he did anything for us. You came from where? Here we sir. You believe in miracles. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you because when I saw that, the Lord asked me to give you the school fees of the child. This is not this is not some showmanship. We're not interested in all that. It's just to tell you that no matter where you are, you see, God uses people to show you what He can do. How does a woman sit down like this? A program is happening. And in the sincerity of her heart, she said, my own problem is I came, Newe is um, from an, how many hours? That's what I'm, give me an example. Uh, an About four hours. And she came and sat outside, not knowing anybody. And yet God picks her and decides to wipe her tears. This is an example to tell you that you can be anywhere and God can come to you and reach you and wipe your tears. Are we together? Don't say, I do not know any man. Remember the helper. The helper. So please, um, let me see these two people after service. Eh? May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take one or two, one or two of the testimonies we have to hurry up our time is gone please let's take any two two or three yes please go ahead okay, sir i've been trusting god for healing i've been having a severe pain since it started last severe year. pain yeah for how yeah. long for last year as of last year and so, right now what happened immediately i was praying this thing just stopped completely yes, in the name of jesus that pain leaves you never to return to you again in jesus name let's celebrate her yes please praise the lord I've been having this pain, my left shoulder. You notice comes... that most of the miracles have to do with pain, pain, pain. Let me tell you this. When you see the Lord doing the same thing, it is a message he's bringing. Remember, help I taught you has to do with taking away, making things easy. And notice that most of the pain has to do with the shoulder. The shoulder is where you carry load. It's a message God is speaking. That I'm taking away burdens. I'm taking away loads. And I prophesy to someone's life tonight. In the name of Jesus. May the God of heaven arise in his power. And take away every luggage that has been placed by the devil over your life. The pain used to be seasonal. It's been years now. For some time, I'll start feeling it. And, and, and right now, it's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Let that man and that woman be the last. My apologies. I'll, Praise I'll, the Lord. 
for past like for past three months. I like to hear this lady's me. testimony. So okay. Last month, I can't even. What happened to you? My waist is paying me for past three months. And right now, what happened? Right now, I can't. Completely. Look at this. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. I've, I had pain, excruciating pain on my neck. I came here with serious pain this evening. Even the drugs I took couldn't help me. But as the prayer was going on for the sick, I'm free. Completely. No In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. This lady seems pressed on her testimony. What happened to you? I came here with my lens. This is my lens. I don't see very well without this lens. And the last time I went to Chicago, my doctor said that if I don't go for glaucoma eye surgery, I'm going to go blind. And again, I'm a widow with two sons. If I go blind, out my husband i don't even know how to take care of my children and what now, happened to you now after receiving the deliverance telling i was at the other side i have to walk from there without distance to hear look at this Pastor, thank you for this conference. In your obedience is someone's salvation. In your obedience is someone's healing. In your obedience is someone's restoration. Look what has happened to this woman. Do you know what it means to come to church and go back? Those who saw you going to church, you returned back. What happened? I went to the house of God. What happened there? I met God, the God of the Bible. In the name of Jesus, my dear, it will never return to you again. Your healing remains permanent in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Let me have one more person and then I pray. This woman is itching. Goodness. We're working with time. You have a testimony? Okay, come. Let me just, my apologies, not just creating superiority, but let me just hear what, what's the testimony? Praise God. I'm having high blood pressure since uh, 13 years I lost my husband. I'm since taking, 13 years? Yes. I'm taking drugs. On April, I just noticed that my system changed. So my sugar level, I didn't get sugar level before, but since the April, the thing just shoot up to 381. From uh, since that then, I'm visiting hospital of uh, uh, UNTH. Now they now say I should do test of uh, liver. They say the liver enlarged and the dropping. Since there, I'm having pains here. But after that uh, prayer, the pains has gone from here. I feel more here. And after return back to God, who will take care of my six children if I die? I say, God, thank you for what He has done. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have no business with death. This healing remains permanent. And I cause any spirit behind any pain. In Jesus' name I pray. For the sake of time, you have a testimony? Oh dear. You see, my people, you see how, why miracle services usually... Okay, let's, let's just allow... Hi, this testimony, sir. I came to see you in Abuja. My miracle service with this baby. He wasn't talking. He didn't hold his neck from bed. Baby has been walking before we came. Oh, you went to Abuja? Yes, main miracle service. And you saw us around 12, eight, mid, 12 midnight. You prayed and said there should be restoration. When we were coming back, my husband called and he said hello. Other people were receiving calls. If you hear a phone call, he will say hello, hello. The therapist that are seeing him said that he's now due to start a regular school and mix up with other children. Oh, dear. <laughs> That is that, that he's improving. That is improved. That his speech is improving. I just want to in, say in the name of Jesus those. Christ. You see, for you to appreciate a miracle, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the people. Are we together? You do not know how inconveniencing by the privilege of God's grace and what I do. There are people when you see their conditions, even after prayer, you feel like weeping because the Lord. The load that their family members 
especially maybe issues that relate to autism and all of these things may god keep anointing mighty men in enugu state who will continue to do the work of healing of power of restoration in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen for the sake of time let me just speak oh dear look at there are so many people begging to testify would you forgive me if if we allow now here's what will happen here's what will happen it doesn't matter whether you testify in this session or any other session the most important thing is to know that god has done this so i may i plead with any of maybe any official so that at least we honor them for coming to stand so long to testify who is that one lifting a phone what happened oh you were healed the person on the phone from where he's in where no 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 you don't have to go with the mic huh in the village for you and everyone who has been touched by the power of god i decree in the name of jesus your miracles remain permanent you will experience the grace of god dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline